Actions speak louder than words, especially when it comes to attraction. Throughout history, the Stoics mastered the art of observing human behavior to uncover hidden truths. If you've ever wondered whether you're on her mind, the subtle signs are there, waiting for you to notice them. This episode will uncover the undeniable evidence that she's thinking about you, signs you might have missed, but will never overlook again after today. Watch till the end because every chapter adds another layer to understanding her signals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your own story in the comments below. Now, let's dive straight in. Chapter 1. She laughs at your jokes. Her laughter is more than just a reaction, it's an unspoken form of connection, a subtle but unmistakable way of expressing interest and warmth. Even when your jokes are objectively average or don't elicit the same reaction from others, if she bursts out laughing or chuckles every time you say something even remotely funny, it's a strong indicator that you're occupying a special place in her thoughts. Stoics believe that humor is not merely entertainment but a profound gateway to shared emotions, a bridge that forges bonds between people and fosters intimacy. Laughter is one of the purest and most unguarded responses, making it a powerful signal of her feelings. When she laughs, it's not just about finding something amusing, it's about enjoying you. Her laughter is a signal of her delight in your presence and an openness to build a deeper connection. This reaction transcends the content of the joke, it's about the person delivering it. In many ways, laughter serves as a subtle invitation into her world, reflecting her comfort and ease with you. Pay close attention to how she laughs in different contexts, especially in group settings. Is her laughter more enthusiastic when it's your joke, even if others don't find it as funny? Does her focus seem to shift to you, as though you're the only one in the room? These behaviors are telling signs of her interest and reveal that her emotional energy is directed toward you. Her body language provides even more insight. Is she leaning in as she laughs, tilting her head, or making subtle physical gestures that bring her closer to you? Such actions are not accidental, they are subconscious expressions of a desire to close the distance, both emotionally and physically. This proximity underscores her growing comfort and connection with you. Another clue lies in how she reacts to humor overall. If she laughs politely or casually with others, but her laughter becomes genuine, frequent, or even uncontrollable when it comes to your jokes, the contrast is worth noting. This disparity often reveals where her true attention lies. Even if she's naturally cheerful, the way she prioritizes her responses to you stands out. Consider the timing and context of her laughter as well. Is she using it as a way to prolong conversations, keep the interaction flowing, or draw out playful banter? If she teases you in return, throws in witty comments of her own, or encourages you to keep talking, it's a sign that she's investing in the moment and cherishing the dynamic between you. Her laughter becomes more than a reaction, it's her way of nurturing the connection and signaling that she values your shared experiences. In group settings, observe how she shifts her attention when you speak. Does her laughter feel more like an automatic reaction to someone she admires? Does it carry an energy that feels unique when directed at you? These distinctions are significant as they reveal how she views you in comparison to others. Stoic philosophy reminds us that laughter is a shared experience, a moment where barriers dissolve and mutual understanding emerges. Her laughter becomes a reflection of her willingness to let you in, to share her joy, and to explore the potential for something deeper. It's not simply about humor, it's about the emotional resonance she feels in your presence. Ultimately, her laughter is a doorway to connection, a non-verbal cue that speaks volumes about her feelings. It's not just about finding your jokes funny, it's about associating you with positive emotions, comfort, and happiness. When she laughs, she's inviting you to lean into the bond you're building, offering a glimpse into her affection and her hopes for a meaningful connection. Pay close attention, because behind her laughter lies the unspoken truth of her growing interest in you. Chapter 2. She puts in extra effort to look good. 
Have you ever noticed that her appearance seems more polished when you're around? Maybe her hair is styled to perfection, her makeup is flawless, or she's wearing an outfit that accentuates her best features. These subtle but deliberate choices are rarely coincidental. They're often a subconscious, or even intentional, way of signaling, I want you to notice me. When someone puts extra effort into their appearance, it's not just about looking good, it's about projecting confidence and attraction. She's not dressing up for just anyone, she's dressing up for you. The Stoics understood the power of presentation and the role it plays in forming connections. First impressions may set the stage, but sustained effort to impress someone visually speaks volumes about their importance in your life. This effort might show up in small but telling details. For instance, she might choose a flattering color that she's noticed you complimenting before. Perhaps she wears jewelry that catches your eye, or she applies just the right amount of perfume to linger subtly in the air when she's near you. These choices are deliberate, each one a calculated step toward leaving a lasting impression. It's not just about physical appearance, either. The way she carries herself when she knows you'll be present also changes. You might observe her walking with more confidence, smiling more often, or using body language that draws attention to her. These behaviors reflect her desire to be noticed and admired. Stoics believe that outward appearances often mirror internal intentions. In her case, the extra polish in her appearance reflects the emotional investment she's placing in your interactions. Pay close attention to patterns. Does her effort increase when she knows she'll see you? Does she seem to shine a little brighter at events you attend together? These are key indicators that you occupy a significant place in her thoughts. She's not just dressing for the occasion, she's dressing for you. In social settings, this effort can become even more apparent. While she might blend into the crowd in other scenarios, around you, she'll stand out, perhaps intentionally. Whether it's choosing a dress that hugs her figure just right or wearing accessories that invite compliments, she's signaling her interest in subtle yet unmistakable ways. Her goal isn't just to look good, it's to catch your attention and hold it. Beyond the visual, she might also put effort into creating an overall aura of attractiveness. This could include adopting habits or mannerisms that align with what she perceives you value. For example, if you've mentioned a preference for natural beauty, she might adjust her makeup routine accordingly. If you shared an appreciation for a particular style, you may notice her incorporating those elements into her wardrobe. These changes aren't random, they're targeted efforts to align with your preferences and make herself stand out in your eyes. Stoics emphasized that true connection arises not from superficial appearances, but from the intention behind actions. Her effort to look good is less about vanity and more about creating an opportunity to strengthen your bond. It's her way of saying, I see you, and I want you to see me too. She's leveraging every tool in her arsenal to communicate her interest without having to say it outright. This effort to impress isn't limited to formal occasions or major events. It might be evident in the everyday moments. Perhaps she always seems to look effortlessly put together when you bump into her unexpectedly. Or maybe she takes extra care in how she presents herself during casual hangouts, ensuring she's memorable even in laid-back scenarios. These moments are where her true intentions shine through. One particularly telling sign is when she adjusts her appearance based on your feedback or compliments. If you once admired a particular hairstyle, Watch to see if she starts wearing it more often. If you've remarked on how a certain color suits her, you might find her incorporating it into her wardrobe regularly. These are her subtle ways of reinforcing the connection and showing you that your opinion matters to her. From a stoic perspective, her effort to look good isn't just about aesthetics, it's about the energy she's willing to invest in your dynamic. Stoics value purposeful action, and her choices reflect her intent to create an environment where you both feel drawn to each other. Her outward effort symbolizes the internal value she places on your attention and admiration. As you recognize these cues, 
Respond in ways that encourage her efforts. Compliment her genuinely when you notice the care she's put into her appearance. A simple, you look great today, can mean the world to her, reaffirming that her effort hasn't gone unnoticed. This acknowledgement can create a positive feedback loop, deepening her confidence and strengthening your connection. However, it's crucial to approach this with a balanced perspective. While her effort to look good is a clear indicator of her interest, it's one piece of a larger puzzle. Stoics taught the importance of observing patterns rather than relying on isolated actions. Pair her visual efforts with other signals, like how she engages in conversations with you or seeks out opportunities to spend time together. Ultimately, a consistent effort to present herself in a way that appeals to you is a strong, non-verbal statement of her feelings. She's not just trying to look good, she's trying to look good for you. Recognizing and appreciating these efforts not only validates her actions, but also lays the groundwork for a deeper, more meaningful connection. In her eyes, every choice she makes about her appearance is a reflection of how much she values your opinion and the possibility of something more between you. Chapter 3. She mirrors your movements. Imitation is one of the most instinctive ways humans express connection and alignment. If she mirrors your gestures, crossing her arms when you do, leaning forward when you lean in, or even adopting similar speech patterns, it's more than just a coincidence. This subtle mimicry is a subconscious way of communicating that she feels in sync with you. It's as if her mind is quietly saying, I'm comfortable with you, and I want to be on the same wavelength. Stoics, known for their keen observational skills, understood the importance of patterns in human behavior. Mirroring is one of the most reliable indicators of interest and mutual alignment. It reflects an emotional resonance that words often fail to capture. When she mirrors your actions, it's a physical manifestation of the rapport she feels. You might notice this mirroring in small, almost imperceptible ways. For instance, if you reach for your glass of water during a conversation, she might unconsciously do the same moments later. Or, when you shift your posture, say, leaning back in your chair, she might adjust her position in a similar way without even realizing it. These tiny, synchronized movements are her mind's way of building and reinforcing a sense of connection. It's not just physical gestures that she might mirror, Pay attention to the rhythm and tone of your conversations. If you use specific phrases, she might start adopting them too. If your tone becomes playful, hers might follow suit. These patterns indicate a deeper level of engagement, where she's not just listening to you, but attuning herself to your energy and style of communication. Mirroring can also extend to emotional responses. If you're sharing an exciting story, she might become animated and enthusiastic as well. Conversely, if you're discussing something serious, she might mirror your more subdued tone. Stoics believed that empathy was a cornerstone of human connection, and emotional mirroring is a way for her to signal that she's genuinely tuned into your feelings. Group settings provide an excellent opportunity to observe this phenomenon. If you're in a social gathering and notice that she mirrors your movements even when the two of you aren't directly interacting, it's a strong sign that her focus is on you. For example, if you shift your weight from one leg to the other or adjust your seat, she might unconsciously mimic these actions shortly after. This consistent alignment, even in a crowd, underscores how attuned she is to your presence. Mirroring isn't limited to just the physical realm, it can also show up in how she aligns her interests with yours. For example, if she starts taking an interest in hobbies you've mentioned or brings up topics she knows you're passionate about, it's her way of connecting with your world. This behavioral mirroring is another layer of her subconscious effort to establish common ground and strengthen your bond. You can use her mirroring to foster deeper trust and connection, one way is to intentionally mirror her movements back. This creates an unspoken harmony that can deepen your rapport. For instance, if she leans slightly forward during a conversation, doing the same subtly signals that you're aligned with her energy. 
This back and forth mirroring establishes a rhythm of mutual understanding, making both of you feel more connected. It's also important to recognize that mirroring is often subconscious. She's not intentionally copying you, it's a natural response when someone feels attracted or comfortable. Stoics believed in the importance of observing behavior without judgment, focusing instead on understanding its deeper significance. By paying attention to her mirroring, you gain insight into her feelings and the subconscious ways she expresses them. Over time, as your connection deepens, this mirroring may become even more pronounced. You might find yourselves naturally falling into a synchronized flow during conversations or shared activities. This effortless alignment is a hallmark of strong emotional and psychological connection. It's a signal that her interest in you goes beyond the surface and into a deeper, more instinctual bond. However, it's also essential to approach this observation with mindfulness. While mirroring is a strong indicator of interest, it should be considered alongside other signals. Stoic philosophy teaches us to avoid making assumptions based on a single behavior. Look for a pattern of consistent mirroring across different situations and interactions. It's the consistency that confirms the strength of her feelings. In essence, mirroring is a powerful, non-verbal way for her to express her interest and comfort with you. It's a physical and emotional alignment that goes beyond words, revealing how much she values your connection. By recognizing and responding to these cues, you not only deepen your understanding of her feelings, but also create opportunities to strengthen the bond between you. Stoics valued the unspoken truths revealed in human behavior, and mirroring is one of the clearest and most honest signs that you're on her mind. Take note of these moments and appreciate their significance. When someone mirrors your movements, tone, and energy, it's their subconscious way of building a bridge between your worlds. In her eyes, aligning herself with you is a reflection of how much she's drawn to you, both as a person and as someone she deeply wants to connect with. Chapter 4. She finds reasons to have a conversation with you. When someone is on her mind, she will find countless reasons, some subtle, others more obvious, to strike up a conversation. It could be as simple as asking about your weekend plans, sharing a funny story she thought you'd enjoy, or even casually mentioning something you both talked about before. These interactions might seem light-hearted or incidental, but they are often deliberate attempts to stay connected without revealing too much about her deeper feelings. Stoics believed in the importance of purposeful engagement, emphasizing that the effort to connect with others reflects intentionality and focus. When she goes out of her way to keep the lines of communication open, it's a sign that you occupy a meaningful place in her thoughts. These interactions aren't just about the topic she brings up, they're about maintaining and nurturing the connection she feels with you. Consider how these conversations often start. She might ask a question she already knows the answer to, or bring up a topic that she knows will spark your interest. This is her way of creating a reason to interact. For example, she might ask for advice on a subject she's aware you're knowledgeable about, even if she doesn't need it. Alternatively, she might comment on something she noticed about you, like a new hobby you've mentioned, to show she's paying attention. These seemingly small efforts are part of a larger pattern. It's not about what she says, but why she says it. Stoic philosophy reminds us to look beyond the surface of actions to understand their underlying intentions. Her eagerness to find reasons to engage with you speaks volumes about her desire to stay connected, even if she's trying to play it cool. Pay attention to how often these conversations happen and the tone she uses. Is she reaching out daily, or does she find excuses to approach you whenever you're in the same space? Does her voice carry extra warmth or enthusiasm when she talks to you? These subtle cues often reveal the depth of her interest. She's not just engaging in small talk, she's weaving a consistent thread of connection that keeps you in her orbit. The content of her conversations is another important clue. If she talks about her own experiences, shares stories from her life, or opens up about her thoughts and feelings, 
It's her way of inviting you into her world. Stoics valued the exchange of personal insights as a path to building stronger relationships, and her willingness to share reflects her trust and emotional investment in you. Her efforts to find reasons to talk often extend beyond direct conversations. For instance, she might send you a random meme that reminded her of you, comment on your social media posts, or bring up shared interests you've discussed in the past. These actions might seem casual, but they're calculated ways to keep the dialogue going and stay on your radar. In group settings, her behavior can be even more telling. She might steer the group's conversation toward topics she knows you're passionate about or ask for your opinion in front of others to make sure you feel included. These subtle moves highlight her awareness of you and her desire to engage with you, even in less intimate settings. One particularly revealing sign is her reaction when the conversation starts to die down. If she works to keep it alive, asking follow-up questions, introducing new topics, or even circling back to something you mentioned earlier, it's a clear indication that she values your interaction and doesn't want it to end. Stoics believed that meaningful communication required effort and intentionality, and her persistence in maintaining the flow of dialogue is a reflection of how much she values your connection. Her persistence can also manifest through small, thoughtful gestures that keep the conversation fresh. For example, she might remember a detail from a previous discussion and bring it up later, showing that she's not only listening, but also holding on to the things you share. This level of attentiveness underscores her emotional engagement and interest in getting to know you better. Responding warmly to these interactions is key. When you notice her efforts, acknowledge them and reciprocate. Show genuine interest in her life and ask her questions in return. This creates a dynamic of mutual engagement, deepening the connection and making her feel that her efforts are appreciated. Don't underestimate the importance of these seemingly small conversations. In Stoic philosophy, every interaction holds the potential for growth and understanding. By recognizing her efforts to connect and responding in kind, you foster an environment where authentic communication can thrive. These moments are the building blocks of a deeper bond, and her consistent attempts to talk to you are a testament to how much space you occupy in her mind. Ultimately, her willingness to find reasons to have a conversation with you is more than just a habit, it's a deliberate expression of her interest and care. Pay attention to the frequency, tone, and content of your exchanges, and use these opportunities to strengthen your relationship. In her eyes, every interaction is a chance to grow closer, and her consistent effort to keep the dialogue alive is one of the clearest signs that you're on her mind. Chapter 5. She asks lots of personal questions. Curiosity about your life is one of the clearest indicators that you're on her mind. When she dives beyond the surface-level questions about how your day went or what you had for lunch, it shows a genuine desire to understand you on a deeper level. She might bring up topics like your childhood, family dynamics, or life-changing experiences. Perhaps she'll ask about your favorite hobbies, what motivates you, or your goals for the future. These aren't just casual inquiries, they're intentional efforts to uncover the layers of who you are. Stoics believe that knowledge is the bridge to understanding and connection. By showing an interest in your personal history, values, and aspirations, she's laying the groundwork for a stronger emotional bond. Asking these questions is her way of saying, you matter enough for me to want to know your story. Take note of how she approaches these questions. Does she lean into the conversation with attentive focus? Does she follow up with deeper inquiries based on your responses? These are signs that her curiosity goes beyond politeness or small talk. She's actively working to piece together a full picture of who you are, revealing just how much space you occupy in her thoughts. When she asks about your past, it's a sign she wants to understand the experiences that shaped you. Questions about your childhood or significant life moments show that she's interested in what makes you uniquely you. On the other hand, if her questions revolve around your future, your dreams, plans, 
or where you see yourself in a few years, it's a subtle way of imagining where she might fit into that picture. Pay attention to how her questions connect to your shared experiences. She might bring up things you've mentioned in passing, like a favorite band, a childhood memory, or an obscure hobby you're passionate about. This level of attentiveness shows she's not only listening, but actively remembering and valuing the details you share. Stoics often emphasize the importance of being present in the moment, and her efforts to recall and expand on what you've said are a testament to how deeply she's engaged in your conversations. Her interest might also extend to understanding the people and values that matter most to you. She could ask about your relationships with family or friends, wanting to know who supports and inspires you. By doing this, she's not just learning about you, she's gaining insight into the environment and connections that shape your identity. Beyond the questions themselves, observe how she reacts to your answers. Does she smile when you share a funny story? Does she seem genuinely moved by your challenges or achievements? Her emotional responses to your stories often reveal just as much as her words. Stoics believed that authenticity in reactions was a sign of sincerity, and her visible engagement in your narrative reflects the depth of her interest. Don't overlook the subtler ways she might express her curiosity. Sometimes, her questions may seem casual, like asking about your weekend plans or how you spend your free time. But these seemingly ordinary inquiries are often windows into her deeper thoughts. For instance, she might ask about your favorite travel destinations not just to know where you've been, but to imagine exploring those places with you. Her curiosity also represents an investment of her time and energy. In today's fast-paced world, choosing to deeply engage with someone is a significant gesture. By taking the time to ask and listen, she's showing that you're worth prioritizing in her busy life. Stoic philosophy reminds us to appreciate the meaningful efforts of others, and her consistent interest in learning about you is a clear example of such effort. When you notice her asking these personal questions, treat it as an opportunity to open up. Sharing your thoughts, feelings, and experiences doesn't just answer her curiosity, it builds mutual trust and connection. Vulnerability is key to deepening relationships, and by allowing her into your world, you create space for a stronger bond to grow. In turn, don't hesitate to reciprocate her curiosity. Ask her similar questions and show genuine interest in her answers. This exchange of personal stories and insights creates a dynamic of mutual respect and understanding. As Stoics believed, relationships thrive on a foundation of shared experiences and authentic dialogue. Ultimately, her willingness to ask you these questions and her genuine engagement with your answers speaks volumes about how much she values you. It's her way of exploring who you are, not just on the surface, but at the core. Recognize her efforts and cherish these moments of connection. They're a powerful reminder of the growing bond between you. Chapter 6. She keeps the conversations going. If she goes out of her way to ensure your conversations don't fizzle out, it's because she treasures your interaction and wants to prolong the connection. Whether you're texting, talking on the phone, or having face-to-face -face chats, her consistent effort to keep the dialogue alive speaks volumes. She might respond with thoughtful, detailed replies, ask engaging follow-up questions, or cleverly pivot the conversation to new topics that keep the flow uninterrupted. These actions aren't random, they're deliberate attempts to maintain the dynamic between you. Stoics value dialogue as a cornerstone of meaningful relationships, believing that open communication was essential for fostering trust and emotional bonds. When she takes the initiative to continue your conversations, it reflects her emotional investment in you. It's not just about the words exchanged, it's about her intention to stay connected and ensure you feel her presence in your life. Pay attention to how she steers these interactions. Does she ask questions that go beyond surface-level small talk? Does she take genuine interest in your stories, opinions, or experiences? 
These are signs that she isn't just engaging for the sake of politeness, she's actively seeking to understand and connect with you on a deeper level. If she shares personal stories or opens up about her life, it's an even stronger indication of trust and attraction. In digital conversations, her effort becomes even more apparent. Does she respond promptly and thoughtfully, or does she go the extra mile by sending memes, articles, or videos she thinks you'll enjoy? Sharing content that reminds her of you is her subtle way of saying, you're on my mind even when we're not talking. Stoics believe that meaningful gestures, no matter how small, are expressions of deeper truths. Every effort she makes to keep the dialogue alive is her way of nurturing your connection. Even the way she reacts to silences in conversations can be telling. If she quickly fills the gaps with new topics or circles back to something you said earlier, it's because she's not ready for the interaction to end. She might even tease you playfully or bring up inside jokes to reignite the energy between you. This constant effort to bridge the silence shows that she's invested in maintaining the rapport you've built. Observe how much energy she puts into these interactions. Does she initiate conversations as much as she responds to them? Does she make an effort to find common ground or highlight shared interests? When someone values a connection, they actively work to keep it thriving. Her persistence in sustaining your dialogue isn't just a habit, it's a reflection of how much space you occupy in her thoughts. Her ability to keep the conversation going isn't limited to words alone. Nonverbal cues like her tone, pace, and enthusiasm can reveal a lot about her feelings. When you're talking in person, notice how engaged she is. Does she maintain eye contact, nod along, or lean in closer to listen? These actions amplify the verbal signals, showing that she's fully present and interested in everything you have to say. Stoic philosophy teaches us that genuine relationships are built on mutual effort and understanding. By acknowledging and reciprocating her efforts to maintain the conversation, you demonstrate that you value her time and energy just as much. This creates a positive feedback loop, encouraging both of you to open up further and deepen the connection. When you see her putting in this level of effort, match her energy. Engage with her thoughtfully, respond with genuine interest, and don't be afraid to contribute new topics or ideas to the conversation. This balance of give and take strengthens your bond, transforming casual chats into meaningful exchanges. In the end, her determination to keep your conversations alive is one of the clearest signs that you're on her mind. It's not just about the words she says, but the intention behind them. Recognize these efforts for what they are, a powerful expression of her interest, care, and desire to build something meaningful with you. Chapter 7, Her Body Faces Towards You Body language is a window into unspoken feelings, and it never lies. If her body is consistently angled toward you, whether in a crowded room, during a casual chat, or even across a large gathering, it's a powerful, involuntary signal of her focus and interest. These subtle physical cues often speak louder than words, revealing what she may be too shy or cautious to express outright. Stoics, masters of observation, emphasize the importance of paying attention to nonverbal communication. They believe that physical presence and gestures often convey truths hidden behind words. When she positions herself toward you, it's not a random act, it's her subconscious prioritizing you. Even if she's engaging with someone else, her body's orientation reflects her real focus, betraying the thoughts and emotions she's trying to conceal. Observe how her body behaves in different scenarios. Does she lean in slightly when you speak, reducing the space between you? Are her feet or shoulders angled toward you even when her attention appears to be directed elsewhere? These cues, though subtle, are deeply telling. People naturally align themselves with those they are most drawn to, and her consistent orientation toward you suggests that you hold her interest more than you realize. Leaning in during a conversation, uncrossing her arms to create openness, or tilting her head slightly as she listens are all signs of genuine engagement. These small, 
Instinctive actions are her body's way of connecting with you on a deeper level. Stoic teachings remind us that such unguarded gestures are windows into a person's emotional world, revealing thoughts and feelings that words often fail to convey. It's also worth noting how she reacts when you're in a group setting. Does she naturally position herself near you, even if it's subtle? Does she angle her body toward you, even while talking to someone else? These behaviors aren't accidental. They show where her attention lies and signal her comfort and interest in your presence. Don't underestimate the significance of these actions. Body language often provides a more reliable insight into someone's feelings than spoken words, especially when attraction is involved. The body doesn't overthink, it reacts. Her physical orientation toward you is her way of silently saying, you matter to me. When you notice these signals, respond accordingly. Align your body language with hers to create a sense of mutual understanding and connection. Lean in slightly when she does, maintain an open posture, and make eye contact to reinforce the bond she's attempting to establish. These small gestures show her that you're receptive to her interest, encouraging deeper connection without the need for explicit words. In the philosophy of Stoicism, actions, both intentional and unintentional, are reflections of deeper truths. By observing her body language closely and responding with equal attentiveness, you can navigate the silent yet powerful communication she's offering. Through this shared understanding, you can foster an environment of trust and genuine connection that words alone cannot achieve. The signs are everywhere, you just need to know how to read them. From her laughter to her body language, her actions are telling you that you're on her mind more than she's willing to admit. Remember, Stoicism teaches us to observe and reflect. Use these insights not only to understand her feelings, but also to build a connection rooted in authenticity and mutual respect. If you've experienced any of these signs or have a story to share, drop it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who needs it. Until next time, stay mindful and keep observing.